Let me show you how to make an onion potato and goat cheese frittata. Brown the onion first in olive oil. This is one white onion sliced thinly and render out the moisture from the onion. And the potato, I'm using about a quarter of a pound of fingerling potatoes. In Spain, they actually cook the potatoes first. They boil them or steam them. Uh, peeled and uh, then cut them into big chunks and those are browned a little bit in olive oil with the big chunks of onion for a country tortilla. Now it's very important to pre-cook your vegetables whatever you're putting into your tortilla or frittata to remove the excess moisture. So this is going to be mostly cooked in this pan. I'm using a 10 inch non-stick skillet something that will go into the oven. I think that's cooked enough. And just remove this to a bowl and cook the potatoes since these are raw potatoes. A little bit of olive oil and I'm going to put a little bit of butter in for taste. Two tablespoons. These little fingerlings actually cook very quickly. About four minutes it's going to take salt, pepper, and while these are cooking, break a dozen eggs into a pitcher. We're going to add a little bit of cream to this. I think I have 11. We need one more egg, 12, and a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. Now whisk, but you don't want a lot of air to get into the eggs. You want to break all the yolks. So use a whisk lightly, but you don't want to have big batches of yolk and batches of white either. Looks good. A few herbs would be nice too. And it's nice to um, just chiffonade them if you want. Basil, flat leaf parsley. The leafy parts are better than the stems for Something like this. Oh, these look done. I'm going to add the onions back to the to the pan. I think this looks good already. Isn't that pretty? Really nice. And we'll add our herbs. Again, you can choose to use thyme. Some are savory. That really smells good. Now add a little salt to your eggs and a little bit more pepper. One last whisk. Adjust the heat so that it's on low. Pour your eggs over your vegetables. This is a very casual thing to make. And you can make frittatas for a crowd. Now raise your heat a little bit. Use your rubber scraper to pull the egg from the edge. So what you're trying to do is set the eggs in the pan, but without browning them. And that's going to take, oh, anywhere from two to three minutes. So you see, if you use the rubber scraper to pull the egg from the side, um, the egg is moving in the pan, which is just what we want. And now it's time to put the goat cheese, push it down into the egg. Uh, this looks like it'll make six generous servings. So put six pieces of goat cheese, one per wedge, if you're going to cut this into a wedge. Looks very nice. And some grated Parmesan cheese. I love grating cheese like this and sprinkling. This adds uh, another nice flavor to your frittata. And get this right into a preheated broiler for about one and a half minutes. The frittata smells done. Let's just look. Yes, it is perfect. Golden brown, puffy, 
Doesn't that look fantastic? This is an incredibly versatile dish, and you can serve it cut up for an appetizer. You can serve it as a main course. Plus, it's not necessary to serve it right away. It's equally delicious, warm or at room temperature. Now, this will loosen from the pan. Slide it out onto a serving platter like that. Now, I'm going to cut it because I want to taste it right now. And it cuts so nicely into wedges. Very nice texture, very nice color. It really makes a difference. Sprinkling of salt and a little bit more pepper. And you have an utterly fantastic frittata.